Greetings, it's Maxo Diddley here, and today I am going to show you how to play music using C Sharp. So let's get right into it. Firstly, make sure you import using system and using system.media. We'll be needing these to play music. Next, if you're in Visual Studio, go to your Solution Explorer, right click on your project, go to Open Folder in File Explorer, then go into your bin folder, debug, and place your WAV file in here. This method is only going to play WAV files, and you want to place it in this folder if you are just going to put the file name as your file path when testing your program, because this is where Visual Studio is going to run your program, and the relative file path would be in here. You may not actually see anything in here if you haven't run your program before. You can put your music wherever you want, I'm putting it in here. So, in our static void main method, we have got a function call of play music, and we're going to pass in our WAV file, like a file path to it, which is megalovania.wav. Then we're going to do a console.write line, play music, then we're going to do console.read line. This is to stop the program from closing too early, and you'll see why in a moment. So let's go and define play music. So it's public static void, play music. String file path, pretty simple. Obviously, if you're not using this in a static context, you don't need to include static. Void means it doesn't return a value. Play music is the name. String file path, the file path of the file we want to do. Inside, we want to do three simple lines of code. We want to do sound player, music player, equals new sound player. So what's going on here? We're basically making a sound player object, and this sound player object is going to actually be the thing that plays our music. Think of it like a CD player. And after that, what do you do before you play music on your CD player? Well, you put a CD in it. So you take the name of your sound player object, in this case music player, do dot sound location equals file path. This is like putting a CD in your CD player. We are telling the music player where the audio is we want it to play. Then dot .play is like pressing the play button, we're just going to tell it to play the music. When we do dot .play, it plays asynchronously by default, meaning other things on the thread can do stuff while the music plays. So, with that out of the way, let's hit save and press play. Garmit, this is a pretty cool song. As you can see, we stopped the song right before it hit the good part. But that's basically it, and we hit enter and we close the program. So you might be thinking, but Max, why do we need console.readline? Well, I'll show you in a second. We're going to remove it and then save and hit play. As you can see, the program stopped. The reason being is, since the task is asynchronous, it will do stuff while the thread is doing something else. But since the thread had nothing to do, because all we told it to do was write something to the screen and start playing music, it stopped because the music wouldn't keep the thread alive. However, if we do the console.read line, it's something for C Sharp to do, which is just wait for your user input. If you don't want to do this, you can do play sync. And we will remove the console.read line, and this is what's going to happen. Notice anything? We haven't printed the message yet. And then after that, the, con the console just closed. Now, it did say playing music, but it closed so quickly you wouldn't notice. But what's basically happening is, if we do play sync, we're playing synchronously as opposed to asynchronously, and that means C-sharp is going to stay on this play music line until the music has stopped playing. After that, it will continue with the code execution. But with that, thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed, and subscribe if you want more C-sharp tutorials. We will be covering more how to play music tutorials like looping, or stopping your sound whenever you want, and more cool stuff like that. Thanks for being a great audience.